What is going on guys? Wiser here. I'm coming to you with One Hive Labs next fix my mess cleanup episode. Um, this one was a kind of interesting one and a very, I don't know, stupid war. It's one of those wars where uh, we're up against like 30 Town Hall 11s that are all insanely rushed with really crappy attacks. So Supercell's reasoning for matching us up is because our, um, I guess our attack, overall attack rating is... Uh, equals out uh, versus their defense rating. I don't know. Whatever. Um, hopefully that's all going to be uh, fixed up coming up with this update. Uh, sounds like a very, very interesting update. I might do a, a special little video um, a little closer to the release talking about it once uh, everything is confirmed. I have read, uh, read up on it on the forums though. And it looks very interesting. I mean, going back to three minutes for Town Hall 9 is going to make a huge difference. Um, you know, they're not going to nerf the healers, but a huge reason why the, the the Queen Charge and Queen Walks have been so predominant in the Town Hall 9 game lately is because of that 30 seconds. So you take that away, I think people are going to be struggling again at Town Hall 9, getting back into the groove. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more uh, old school attacks, which I love. You know, I believe the, the Shattered Lalo, Stone Goho is really going to come make a comeback here. Um, and then the buff to Valkyries as well is going to be very interesting because already Govaho is pretty much the strongest, at least, at least one of the strongest Town Hall 9 attacks right now. So they buff Valkyries. I don't. I didn't think, in my opinion, I didn't think Valkyries needed a buff. I thought they're an amazing, tanky, very strong unit as is. Uh, but according to the forums, they're the most, the least used unit. Um, I don't think. Um, I don't know the way to explain this nicely, but they're probably the most least used unit with the people who have no clue what they're doing. Like you look at the top level uh, clan wars for for Town Hall Nine, almost every attack involves Valkyries. So, anyways, whatever is what it is. I'm interested uh, to how we're gonna embrace this update. Interested to see what effects it's gonna have on the game. Anyways, back to the cleanup episode. This was a very cool hit. Yes, Town Hall Eleven, but this is a good example of one of the one of the bases, right? Uh, let's take a look at this Town Hall Eleven, quote unquote. Uh, so yeah, we got a level one eagle there. We have level one infernos. We have a level six queen. <laughs> a level is it six or eight? We're gonna zoom in on that. Be sure. Yeah, level six heroes. Like this guy had no business going up town hall eleven. I mean, I understand supercell's kind of frustration with the matchmaking because what do you do about these guys? The way it's looking now, if you do this to your base, you're going to get max, uh, matched up against other Town Hall 11s, whether they be max 11s or rushed 11s like this with Town Hall 8 and maybe even lower defenses. You know, uh, these purple walls, level 6 heroes, level 2 warden, right? I mean, I don't know. I, what do they do with these people? I obviously, in my opinion, I think that these pe people with these bases should be, I, I don't know, I don't want to use the word punished but should at least have a wake-up call and realizing if you're going up Town Hall 11, dropping Eagles, dropping Infernos, you're going to be matched up against Town Hall 11s with Eagles and Infernos. Um, that's that's really the only way to say it. So if your offense is not upgraded according to your defenses, like this base here, uh, you're going to be struggling in Clan Wars. And I think that's rightfully so, right? Like that's, you know, we're, Supercell always talks about they want the game to be played uh, how they envisioned it and how they think it should be played, i.e. the town hall sniping. I understood that, right? Yeah, people putting their town halls on the outside. Uh, it's not a very good overall um, uh, feature, I guess, uh, in the game. So I understand that. Um, what I also would think it would uh, they should really promote is not rushing your base like this. Because if you do rush your base, you're going to be in a world of pain coming in clan war time. So let's check out Katic. Katic had an amazing plan. This was one of those cleanups where um, the plan just needed a couple slight adjustments to come away with the three star. Uh, th the plan gets copied exactly. I'll just run through it for you. It's going to do a bit of a queen charge, right? Easy funnel. It's just a natural funnel right into this grand warden chamber, right into that eagle. The goal is to get the two air defense, the eagle, take down basically all of this section of the base, uh, bring a zap quake for this inferno tower and uh, Lalo the rest, right? These are super exposed air defense out on these edges. Uh, very easy to get to with uh, balloons. So let's check out what happens with Caddick's attack here. 
dun, 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 down goes the queen. Uh, everything's going to go pretty much to plan for this queen charge. A little bit of a fast forward here. So she's going to walk in. She steps up, takes out all this stuff, takes out the uh, Tesla, the air defense, has to drop the rage a little bit early here. Um, no big deal. So she's going to go in. One wall breaker walks through the rage and opens up the wall, those purple walls. Uh, so she's just going to continue walking. Now here's mistake number one. Uh, he drops this minion here um, right after we were talking about it. And he's like, I shouldn't have dropped that minion. Could have saved it for cleanup. Because uh, the queen's, uh, even if the queen steps up, take this out, there's nowhere else for her to go except in. So he did not need that minion there. But two troops space, not a huge deal. <clears throat> Although it doesn't get any value, right? The queen ended up taking out the army camp, but it just flew into the air defense. Um, so defensive queen is down. Uh, air defense number two is about, hey, speaking of the devil, there is Caddick himself as I'm showing the cleanup episode. This is awesome. <laughs> Good timing on that Skype sign in there, Caddick. Uh, anyways, eagle's down. So boom, let's pause it right here. Uh, the next stage of this attack because he brings two Lava Hounds, 21 balloons. Doesn't really have much for cleanup. Still has that Zapquake he's got to drop down on that Inferno Tower. He's now going to send in a king with some giants, blow open that wall, basically take out this compartment and get air defense number three. So still all going to plan. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes that Zapquake. <clears throat> Rage is up the king. Down goes that air defense. Down goes that compartment. So here come the Lava Hounds. Uh, he's going to drop uh, two Lava Hounds on this air defense. Start uh, just kind of doing a horseshoe of balloons all around the outside and get everything funneled in on, onto that Inferno Tower. He does bring two haste. He's going to drop a couple haste. Throw everything right in on top. Lava Hound one is in. The max one. Takes a bit of damage. Bam, bam, bam. Balloons in all over the base. Nowhere for them to go but to that Inferno Tower. But if you notice, so that Max Lava Hound just burst now. Um, still has basically a full health hound. Uh, so I, I, that was another adjustment we addressed and talked about. Did not even need the uh, the second hound in the end you know had ex some extra wall breakers there just in case so that really wasn't it but if you're gonna you, you see here it's got pups around the base they start chasing the king a little bit they get locked up on this stuff now but it just does not have enough time so um it really came down to clean up and just starting the starting the other portions of the attack a little quicker and a few extra hero levels in there um and you're gonna see what the difference is because uh, I go in here now, basically with the exact same plan. Although if you look at my troop comp, I have 11 minions. He only had the one or two, I think, on the outside because he brought that extra hound. I had a few extra balloons. Um, I only bring the one wizard and I only bring one giant because I have a little bit higher king. I have a 27 king and I have a 30 queen, which I think makes a big, big difference here. Even though you're going to see... I. Swear to God, I dropped her in the exact same spot, but maybe a tile too far to the right uh, because my queen walks right past this air defense. So I actually need to adjust Caddick's plan on the fly for the Lalo portion. And keep in mind, I'm only bringing the one max hound in the CC. I do not have two hounds. And now I'm left with an extra air defense to, to go up. So uh, you can only imagine. Another thing Caddick told me, which um, I should have thought of, I obviously don't hit many eagle cannons. Thank God, <laughs> I'll say this, I kind of forgot, in my plan I was going to just zap quake the Inferno Tower first, I forgot these count as troop space for the Eagle Cannon, so if I had done that, the Eagle would have activated and this raid would have been instantly over, but I kind of forgot, <laughs> luckily, and then end up doing it at the exact right moment, so uh, see this queen, she goes up first, instead of to this, I th instead of over here, so boom, she stands up, now ends up stepping up into this corner still i cannot believe she walked right past this air defense like i just could not believe it um doesn't even pop that tesla that's hidden in there right so she goes up oh. uh so wall breakers are successful they open that up she's gonna walk in there i still haven't used that haste since he didn't the tesla never locked on and that arch tower is not locked on uh, the other thing, even though I didn't get that air defense, the queen gets pretty good value in here because, boom, here goes this rage. I'm now just going to shred through all this high hit point stuff. I don't need to burn the ability as quick. right? She's going to step up, take out that archer queen in a couple shots. 
finish off the rest of this compartment. She does get this air defense, which is good. There goes that zap quake. Not even zap quake, the triple zap, we'll call it. <clears throat> so just need to get locked onto this eagle cannon, which I am about to do. Use up my ability to make sure it goes down because that is the most important thing here. Now, this concerned me, right? Because now that Inferno Tower is locked on, I'm like, oh, well, this Arch Tower is dead. Well, I better start, or this Arch Queen's dead. I better start at this portion of the raid. One giant goes in, king in, raid him behind. I make a mistake and stupidly drop the wizard right behind my king. So I lose my wizard to that stupid bomb. Uh, that was unfortunate, but uh, level 27 king is going to handle this compartment. No problem. Down go those Town Hall 8 defenses. See you later. Down goes the air defense. Okay, so I'm at this point in the raid. I pretty much thought it, there was no chance in hell. Um, you know, you have that quick moment to stop and think uh, about exactly what it is that you're going to do to readjust to make sure this air defense goes down. I couldn't just drop all the balloons in the horseshoe around here because this air defense was just going to pick everything off. I only have one hound doing tanking. Um, so let's, uh, my plan is I do have the two hastes, right? I have extra minions. Like these 11 minions are basically what saved me the raid. Um, so I decide instead of hasting onto the Inferno Tower, I drop a, six balloons because see this, the way it's targeted, I can just drop balloons on this outside and they're going to go right to that air defense. So I drop a haste and I drop my a bunch of balloons to quickly take out this air defense and they start pushing into that Inferno Tower from this side and everything I drop from the other side is the exact same as Caddox attack. So here comes that Max Hound from the exact same placement. Probably didn't need to drop those balloons as high. I just wanted to try and get these cannons to go down so that uh, none of these balloons went up. I wanted them to go straight across. Like, see, once this wizard tower goes down, they go back down, which is perfect. Right on the arch tower, air defense is going down and being nice and patient. I wanted to wait for this hound to start moving over here. Drop a few balloons, right? Boom, here comes that haste. Throw everything right on top of that air defense. Down it goes. So that's taken care of. I immediately drop cleanup minions at this six o'clock location. Uh, I end up dropping a few more, I think, at around the nine o'clock. All the balloons are going to, like, I don't have that many balloons left here, right? I see this wizard tower. Oh, goodness. Hi, sweetheart. I got a visitor for the end of this video. <clears throat> but I'm a little concerned at this point. I dropped those, I dropped those distraction balloons at the exact perfect moment. I think uh, distracting the wizard, uh, wizard tower from these uh, little clump of balloons with just enough time. Got the minions all over the base. So as you can see from this point now, I have all these extra minions in here doing DPS. King goes down. They're all right on top of those high hit point things. Balloons are going to walk around in a circle and take out all this stuff one shot at a time. And it's going to be tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. Thanks for the plan, Caddick. Very sexy. <laughs> Fortunately, I did not get that air defense, but luckily enough, I, uh, I adjusted properly. Hi, right, sweetheart. You say hi to everybody. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, obviously you can see uh, it is time for me to uh, conclude this video, but I really hope you like this one. Um, you know, Town Hall 9 stepping up against these Rush Town Hall 11s is always an interesting task. Um, you know, Caddick is the man when breaking down bases. Such a good base builder, which makes him an awesome attacker because he just looks for uh, exploits. He looks for things and uh, really uh, be able to just copy his plan with uh, slightly higher hero levels and an adjustment in the troop comp. Like, we're talking like very mi minimal adjustments in the troop comp and I came away with the three star. So, uh, yeah, that'll uh, do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help beg that next tree star. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to want mention. I'm not even going to do a recap of this war. It was one of those, like I said, one of those stupid wars. They didn't even fill CCs. There's another part of that attack we I did fail to mention. Um, no CC troops. It it was just a stupid war. Uh, so I'm not even going to do a recap. But as you can see, 2.0 rocked it. Anyhow, now that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help a bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out. <laughs>